Thank you for joining me on my journey to health and wellness. I am racing the sun. I've been racing the sun and I keep trying to race the sun. It is December 15th. Um, there's a crescent moon out and I'm pretty much filming at sunset. I haven't journaled yet. Um, I don't think I journaled yesterday. No? Mm -mm. No, I didn't journal today and I didn't journal yesterday. <sighs> Today's not over. <laughs> Duh, so I'm going to journal. Um, and yesterday I was at my sister's house most of the day. And I realized how I've kind of created a lifestyle for myself. Whether I want to ad um, admit it or not. As a depressed person, I created a very isolated, very quiet very solitude lifestyle where I wake up and no one bothers me I go to sleep and no one bothers me and I'm not rich I have no money I have a job but how do I say this without sounding horrific if you don't love your job if you're not in love with your job the way you should be and I'm trying to get that love back for that you're not in it so, this is what today's vlog was about. I did watch Noelle Marie. I saw Friday's Coffee Time. I'm going to go ahead and link that down below. And um, she was talking about dreams coming true and what she's doing and how she's doing coffee time and media time and all of that. Um, music time, couples time <laughs> with her and Vince. And her and Vince have an amazing opportunity that happened to them. It's such a blessing. They deserve it. I'm so incredibly happy for them, and it's wonderful. It's a wonderful story because the part of vlogging, the part of being, of doing this, is that it never ends. It's circular, just like depression. So one of the things that she talks about is she encourages us to do whatever makes us happy every single day. So funny, I looked away because my dog was being weird over there. So, anyways. Um... And I'm actually not going to stop because I'm going to lose the light. So I'd rather just keep on trucking, trucking, trucking. This is me. This is my life. It's my pain and my struggle. It's what I deal with every single day. It, it, it goes back to my first song. And so she said, do what you love. What is it that I love? I love, okay, I love vlogging. So why am I not editing? I'm not editing because I'm very uncomfortable with the way I look. Mm, I'm not the most beautiful girl. I don't love my hair, hence the wig. Um, there's a lot of things about my physical that I don't look like. And, you know, unfortunately this is a visual thing. You're going to be seeing me. So one of the things that has kept me from filming, and part of what my depression has kept me from filming or even journaling or doing anything like that, is myself. I hold myself back because I'm so in a point in my depression where the way I look affects me so bad that I don't want to go out of the house. It's made me a recluse. Now, you're probably like, what the F? Normal girl, I could pass by her and I wouldn't notice. We all have something that we are embarrassed about. We all have something where we're like, I don't want to walk, run into my high school friends or someone that I know in the street because I have fill in the blank here. And the thing is, is once it starts keeping you from doing things, that's a problem. So that's a problem for me. I'm recognizing that that's a problem. What can I do? Chase the sun. What I'm doing right now. I'm trying to film before the sun goes down. Now, why should anybody care about this? Because I'm not the only person that feels this way. I'm not going to not talk about something because I'm afraid that this is just a whiny, whiny blog. It is and it isn't. If something is keeping me from doing something that makes me happy, then I need to address that. And I need to make sure that it doesn't continue to stop me because that's the point. The point is I don't want to continue doing the things that make me depressed. So in speaking about being at my sister's house versus my house, one of the key differences is that I don't have children. And she has children. Having children and not having children has a huge impact on how you deal with your depression. My BFF has children, and she's very, very depressed, and it hurts me. Um, 
something else that I was listening to on NPR, I think it was on Q. I'll link that down below somewhere as well, um, where they were talking about suicide. And they were saying that one of the statistics for suicides is that people that commit suicide are related to someone else that commits suicide. So, how we deal with depression, I think people that are depressed know other people that are depressed. And I feel like my desire to push past this depression, such as Noelle did. Noelle did that as well. She was depressed as well. And she pushed past it. So if that study about NPR is true, where, you know, people that commit suicide come in packs or whatever, then shouldn't that come true also people that come, overcome depression? You are the sum of your five closest. I mean, I've read that in so many influenced, you know, people books and all that good stuff. So I say all that to say that this is important. It is important, you know, to define what makes me happy. I, I've been going through the days, you know, obsessing about being depressed, I guess. And I think about when I feel happy. I feel happy when I come home and my dog's all over me. I'm happy when I see my boyfriend. I'm happy when I sleep next to him. I'm happy when I'm with, with him, intimate with him. I'm happy when I'm with my sisters. I'm generally happy. I'm happy when I'm with my nephew and niece. I'm I'm so happy with new babies. And I see them as blessings, even though they're not my own, they are. They come into this world to have a relationship with me as their aunt, not as their mommy, Ob's. Um, so if I feel so much happiness, why do I dwell? Why do I focus on the sadness? So that kind of did a click on me, especially this morning, because I did my same routine of being moping around and I'm like, I don't want to mope around and I see why, you know, what are the factors that trigger? my depression and my anxiety and we're gonna go right back to the list I made on Sunday so I need a journal daily walk daily film daily write daily work on the chaos chronicles work on the school for dreamers work daily at my job pack up my house and then update next Sunday I know that this is what I want I know that these are my goals why why is it that when I wake up every morning I don't even see this is it because it's hidden in the book? It's hidden in here and I don't see it? There's never a perfect time to film. There's always gonna be exterior noises. I live out not in isolation 100% as I wish I could. We all have neighbors. We all have problems. I just can't focus on that anymore. It doesn't, it's so draining. So I kind of, I'm kind of proud of myself today. Yesterday I went walking, check. <laughs> and I filmed, check. And I edited, check. Today isn't over. Today I've been taking care of my house and being the domestic goddess that I want to be, which is, you know, buying very healthy food and trying to eat healthier, which is also part of helping myself with my depression. I also spend time with my family, which helps me because it doesn't allow me to stay isolated. So I think I just need to externalize it from here and put it somewhere where I can see it and continue pushing on every day. minute pause. Could it be edited? Who knows? My favorite poem. It's my life. It's my pain and my struggle. The song that I sing to you. It's my everything. Tre treat my first like my last and my last like my first and my thirst is the same as when I came. It's my joy and my tears and the laughter it brings to me. It's my everything.